Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at all of the crochet clothing I have made for myself. We're going to go through it, I'm going to try it on, we're going to talk a little bit about the patterns, how I made it, why I made it, if I'm going to wear it again. There are definitely a couple here that I do not wear, but that's mostly a me problem. There is quite a little stack of them, but there's not a whole heap of them. So I think making some more crochet clothing that I actually like and enjoy might be on my 2025 to-do list. I think we need to move out of this room and let's get started. Editor's, editor's note coming in for you really quickly before we look at all of the crochet clothing that I've made. At the end of this video, after we talk about the crochet clothing, I do have a little bit of me talking about like body image and crochet clothing as someone who is more in the mid-size range of clothing sizes so if you want to stick around for that please do but also I guess just a little warning if if like body image and things like that is something that might be a bit of a trigger for you watch until the end of the crochet clothing and then like skip a little bit and you can come back for the farewell so I will actually put chapters in this one so that you can do that if you like all right love you let's get to the crochet clothing <laughs> you're gonna get a bit of a glimpse of our living room in this video it is Christmas time if you're watching this later. We don't have this up all year, I swear. <laughs> it's a Christmas special. That is all on a side. First up, we have this cardigan. I think this is the first wearable I ever made. Not including like hats and things like that, like the first clothing wearable I made. It is very cute. It is a Mrs. Moon and Heaven design. It's pretty low so. Like each of these patches aren't sewn individually. They're kind of made in strips and then put together that way. So the construction is really cool. This Fibra Natura Eden is what I made it from in obviously a range of colors. So let's try it on. I love that I'm doing this during our like peak summer, but it's still cool today. So that's fine. So this is it. I did block it. I'm not sure why it does this kind of bunching Thing at the sides but it is super super cozy and in winter I definitely do wear it and when I wear it out to cafes there is often like at least one of the baristas who is also like like a crafty cutie and asks me if I made it myself and I always get to be like oh, yeah I did I did make it myself thank you so much this one's definitely one that I like keep and reach for and actually use I'm not sure what I did with the buttons or why I did the buttons this way. I think if I were to make it again, I would just do like regular buttonholes and regular buttons, but I still think it's pretty cute. What do you think? For a first wearable, not bad, not bad, in my opinion. <laughs> I did also, like I definitely gauge swatched for this one, but Somehow, even when I gauge swatched, it still came out shorter than I wanted it. And so I ended up adding an extra row to each of the like strips, if you know what I mean. Overall, cute. My best friend helped me pick the colors out because she is very good at colors and I am very bad at colors. So I think it turned out better than it would have if I were to have done that part on my own. But that is number one, the first wearable I ever made. Are you ready for number two? The next item is this hexagon shirt, which I sort of took a hexagon cardigan design vibe and changed it to just be short sleeved. And then I also took inspiration from the relaxagon shirt. I forget who that designer is, but I will tag them somewhere and also of course as usual I will tag all the designers of anything that I talk about in the description below so if you do want to look for anything or find anything out about these just jump down there and all of the information will be there for you but I digress we are talking about this shirt so I actually I don't mind it except that it's just big <laughs> I don't know it's just too too large for me 
I think that's partially due to the yarn that I used. I used this Spot Saver like 10 ply and it is an acrylic and it's just a bit thick. And so I think it's, it's made it so that there's not like that much drape to it. And I don't know, it just turned out a little bigger than I wanted it to. So I don't really wear it. I think it's also quite warm because it's like an acrylic yarn as well. So it's like not that good for weather where short sleeves are useful, but it's also like not that good for cold weather because it's not that warm. So there's a really short amount of time that I can wear it in, but can you tell why I would never be a model? I am very awkward in my own skin a lot of the time. So this is a bit of a vulnerable video, you know? I'm like, perceive me in this clothing where normally that's the opposite of what I want people to do. But anyway, we're here, we're all friends. Anyway, so that's this one. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I feel like maybe I just need to be a different size for it to work well. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Anyway, I think this was like the second thing I ever made. And I actually, when I was in South Korea at the Nool, which is like the coolest yarn shop that you should go to if you ever get to Seoul. But anyway, when we were there, I bought cones of kind of lighter cotton, thinner yarn. And in my mind, I was gonna make another one of these with that to see if it was a bit better with the drape and things like that. So I still need to do that. Like every person who likes playing with yarn, I bought the yarn and it has sat in my stash for now a year and a half without being touched. But it's on the someday agenda. Anyway. That is this shirt. Let's move on to the next crochet clothing make. The next one is one that I think I really genuinely don't like and need to figure out something to do with it. But it is this raglan shirt that I made. And I just kind of like looked at what a raglan design was and how to work one and then just chucked it together with a bunch of like blue and green scrap yarn that I had. I can't really tell you exactly what yarn this used because it is just a bunch of cottons from my stash. I'm sure there is some like Spotlight Flinders, Spotlight Brighton in there. There's probably also a few like Lincraft cottons, some thrifted cottons. I don't know, but I will show you why I don't love it. Doesn't it just, I don't know. I mean, I'm obviously wearing my black singlet under this, but Something about it just doesn't feel right. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the sleeves, if I maybe wanted longer sleeves, but then under the sleeve kind of felt like it was, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just, and I wear, like I wear stripes all the time. I don't think the stripes are the problem. It could be the way that it, see, it's like, I've lifted my hands, which I do all the time. And now it's like bunched up here. I, yeah, mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I just don't, I don't think it like looks that good on my body. <laughs> and that could be my body image issues talking, but I don't know, I, I don't know. Maybe I need to try one that's just all one color to see if it is like the striping effect or what it is. I'm just, I'm just not sure. What do you think it is? Is it like the construction of it? Is it the colors? I would be offended. Like I, I really did just kind of chuck in scrap colors that were in the same like vague, you know, color palette. And I did try and make it. So this bit here, I tried to make tighter stitches for when it like, for where it sat and then it started sitting in the wrong spot. So it's not even, that bit was meant to be like here, you know? so that it was, I could wear it without something under it. But they ended up down here, which also is probably contributing to it looking a bit weird. I don't know, it's a meh, but I don't know what to do with it now because it's like fully finished, it's woven in like, what do I do with it? I don't want to undo the whole thing because that just feels like a whole lot of work. For, to be honest, not that much yarn. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's all different colors. So ideas, comments, questions, concerns without talking about my body because 
that is the thing that really scares me about making this video. <laughs> but my community would never, so I know that I am in safe and loving hands with you all. But yeah, I, I, meh, eh, that's how I feel about this, eh. Let's look at something else. Okay, the next one I actually am like a little bit proud of and the reason that I'm proud of it is that I freehanded this like pattern design thing and I'm like, not that it is overly complex and not that it is overly original, but it was the third thing that I'd ever made and I, not ever, sorry, the third like piece of clothing that I had ever made and I like totally freehanded it and I'm proud of that. Anyway, it is this, ah, uh, for sad days, for happy days. It is just like a granny square vest, basically. I've done ribbing on the bottom. They were, look, you can tell that it's freehanded because they were slightly different sizes. So when you look at the seam of it, you can see that on the colourful side, I did need to do like a few extra stitches in that ribbing compared to on the other side. But I made it work and like I'm I'm proud of that too, to be honest. Let's try it on. Ta-da! So again, like when it's not on me, I think it's really cute. And then when I put it on, I'm like, eh, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure about it. Like, I think it's a bit cute. I think maybe this side is like too bright for me or if I had done it in a different yarn where it actually changed every row, maybe that would have been better. But to be honest, part of the reason I made this was just because one, I wanted to see if I could. Like I wanted to see if I could just have an idea, put it together and like make it happen. And the second thing was I wanted to try and use up some of this yarn. So these are both, hang on, let me get them for you. It is made from a Milland bag. I love my Milland bags. As you can see, I still have multiple balls of this. I'm currently making a blanket out of it, which you can see in one of my other videos. But I had a lot of this yarn and I just thought it would like be cute. And I like it up here where it changes every row because the granny square is big enough, but this bit in the middle, I kind of feel like a Teletubby. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I feel like I have the TV on me. <laughs> I think, I, I suspect that's a little bit why I'm a bit like, eh, about it. But I'll, I'll, I'll also show you the back. So that, that is that one. It's kind of cute, but kind of, I think would be cuter if I had done it in different colors. So maybe it's one that I would remake. I don't know if I would make it like a bit bigger. I'm not sure how I feel about, like it does sit in my waist and then in my hips kind of thing. And I like stuff baggy, as you've probably seen in a lot of my other videos. I'm often just wearing a baggy Frisbee shirt, to be honest. <laughs> but anyway, that that's that. Actually, one more thing, actually one more thing. <laughs> I think this side like looks a bit better because there's smaller color changes. But I think the other thing with the color changing yarn is that this can happen. So there's a little divot in it. So there's kind of something about both sides that I'm like, oh, I don't know about it. Like this one has the very obvious color change mid row. And then this side has the Teletubby screen. So I don't know what to do with this either. Cause I just, the reality is I don't reach for it. Cause there are a few things that I'm like, eh, I'm not sure about it. You know? So if you have suggestions, let me know. And I think also because of those like little things on it, I'm like, I don't wanna sell it to anyone. I could just give it to an op shop though, because I think someone will find this cute. But that feels sad, all this hard work going to an op shop, but that's the reality sometimes. Like what's the alternative? It just sits in my cupboard and never gets worn. Someone else may as well get some use out of it. I don't know. That's always the conundrum, I think. Now that we are done with that one, we are on to the next thing. And this one was a pattern test. Ta-da! It is another like top vest vibe thing. Um, it's a really good pattern. It is by Minimalism with Yarn. The squares are really, really cute. I love the construction of it and I love this connection construction. It was like a little fiddly to make, but I think it's worth it. Like, I think it looks really, really cute. 
The thing with this is, I think I needed, and I'll show you what I mean in a second, I think I needed a little triangle granny square here because I'm not a tiny human, you know what I mean? And I have these. So when I put it on, which I'll show you, like cute, cute from the front, love it, obviously still in my singlet, but bam, you know what, I, and this is why I kept the singlet on. I need, I think I need the little triangle here. And someone in the testing group was very kind and they also noticed that and they made a pattern for that like half triangle. But at that point I was like, I had made so many of these little squares and I had just put it together and I was so proud of myself for finishing it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot bring myself to make like four more, <laughs> four more half squares. And so I just never did it. And I think if I did do it and then just wore like a, a short kind of lower cut singlet under it, it would be cute and I would really like it. And it's really good for summer because it's like the right length, the right vibe. This is the yarn that I used on it, the Flinders Cotton from Spotlight. I fully made it in this and Brighton, which is like a cotton acrylic blend, but like a 50-50. So it's a much lighter yarn and more breathable yarn, you know? So it would be perfect for summer, but I need to do these little, these bits here because this is, this is not my style. I think I would wear it. And what I have done is wear it with my little like Uniqlo button up shirt over it open. And that looks cute, but as it stands, I don't really wear it, but it is a really well-made pattern. And I think it's just that one, that one little bit that has stopped me from wearing this. So that's okay. That's okay. We, we might get there one day. This one is definitely staying with me because I put a lot of work into it, a lot of effort into it. I do think it's really cute. I just need to get, get myself a couple of little triangle, granny triangles and get it finished. So, okay. This one is like my dearly beloved. It is the most recent clothing make I have made and I adore it. It is my Valor Vest. The pattern is by Eden at Ed's Fart. And it's just like, it was so fun to make. The stitch repeats are amazing. The pattern is really well designed. So it's all made to measure. You make a gauge swatch so you can make it in like any yarn for any size. And it's all laid out really, really easily to understand. I don't think that was good English, but that's okay. It's more easy to understand than my talking in this YouTube video. That's how easy it is to understand. So. I adored this pattern. I made it when I was on holiday, which I think gives it a little bit of something extra. And the other thing that I think gives it a special place in my heart is that it was the first like big project I made for myself in my own yarn, which was exciting. So it is in Bango's Blend in the Morning Fog colorway. This is like a sad scheme because I actually used the end of it to, to finish making this. But I don't know, it was, I got to make it on my trip and it was the first time that I had like made a big project for myself that wasn't just like a test project in <laughs> in his yarn, in little Bango's yarn. Look at him. Hello, are we talking about your yarn? Yeah, yeah we are. So it has a special place in my heart and I also, I just like it. It's really comfy. So I'll try it on for you. I don't, it's like a nice thick sleeve, which I like, covers the shoulders. I think it looks cute. I like these colors as well. I don't know, I feel like it's like kind of neutral, but with a little bit of color in it. And you can make the front and back. So I've made the front a little bit lower and then the back is a little higher. So I just think, I don't know, it's a great pattern. It's a very comfortable make. I like it. That's it. It's like not too tight. It's a little bit loose. The only, the only thing about it is that I obviously wouldn't wear it with this particular singlet, but I do feel like I need to wear a little like cami or something under it because it does have, does have these holes in the, in the stitch. And obviously if I'd made it with like a thinner yarn, those holes would be smaller, etc., etc. But overall, I really, I dig this make. It's the one that I have actually worn out in public. 
I'm like bookending the ones that I actually wear out in public basically <laughs> and not just around my house or never. The other thing that I really like about this and actually you know what let's go back to the office and we'll have a little bit more of a chat about crochet clothing in general and my I guess my experience with it as someone who is not a really tiny person and I feel like I don't know it feels like sometimes the crochet clothing that you see on Instagram or social media or things like that are often modeled by people who don't look like me and so I find it really difficult to know what kind of crochet patterns are gonna look good on someone with my kind of like more mid-sized body so let's have a quick chat about that I guess so those are all my makes and I guess I'm just dropping a little editor's note in here to say that I intentionally left in this next section a lot of the like pauses where I was getting like slightly more emotional just I guess to I don't know if other people have felt this way you will feel us alone maybe and if you haven't felt this way then maybe it'll help you understand a bit more the impact that it actually has I don't know or maybe this is just really self-indulgent <laughs> you can be the judge of that just like thinking about crochet clothing in general and why I often feel like it's maybe not always for me is that I just feel like so often on social media the people who are really big influencers in this space are also often a certain like size range of person and that is like zero hate to any of these people I think one it's the society we live in and two it's not to take away like how much work they put in as like content creators as designers as just people f trying to live their lives on the internet and in general as a person so like not to <laughs> I don't I don't know not to take anything away from that but I feel like as someone who has like a complicated relationship let's say with their body it's quite hard to know what kinds of crochet clothing are gonna look good on me because I don't see it often and so I really like I'm I guess I feel like sometimes I'm stuck in this place where I really want to make crochet clothing I really want to make like more crochet clothing and have more crochet in my wardrobe because it's an art and like craft whatever that I love and I kind of want to like I don't know project that to the world in a certain way or like in some kind of way but I just like like so many of these pieces that I've just shown I make them and I put all of this effort into them and then I'm kind of like oh like maybe maybe they're not for my kind of body and that's fine like not <laughs> like not everything can be for everyone but I will say I think one of the things that I really love and appreciated about this Valor Vest pattern is that there was such a big tester gallery for it. Why am I getting emotional about this? <clears throat> there was such a big tester gallery for it. There were all different kinds of body types showcased in it. There were all different kinds of yarns and all of this kind of like, there were just so many variations within it that I sort of, I could see myself in that pattern you know what I mean and I feel like that is not celebrated in enough patterns I think like there are a lot of patterns that are inclusively sized and use a lot of different kind of models and stuff in their pattern but when they're like marketing the pattern I guess those images aren't used as much as the images of smaller people and I guess that's, this is maybe just my take on it because I'm obviously like a little bit more sensitive to these things as someone who has lived in not a tiny body <laughs> for their whole lives, like, and in a, like, and in a world that obviously a lot of the time a society that lo like lords that size of body. <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't know how to talk, like, I'm feeling like this is something that I kind of want to talk about because it is a little bit, I guess a little bit, I'm getting more emotional talking about this than I thought I would, to be honest. <laughs> 
but I just feel I feel like it's it feels to me like an important thing to say because <sighs> there are a lot of like mid-size and plus size creators and crochets out there and like I, I guess I, the main thing that I want to get out of this little section is that like if that is you and you feel like you don't get to see yourselves in the marketing of patterns and in crochet clothing and like you're not sure what's going to work on your body, I guess I just want to say that I see you and I understand how you feel and I really hope that there are more people who start surprise cat and I, I hope that more pattern designers start marketing their patterns I guess in a way where everyone can see themselves wearing that clothing because I think that's like it's just a good thing for the community it's only going to be good for that pattern because you open yourself up to like a way wider market and I feel like I don't know I think I would buy a lot more clothing patterns and feel a lot more confident making clothing if I could see people who had bodies like mine wearing that pattern using that pattern, liking that pattern, and feeling confident in that pattern. So that is not to say that the other designers of these have not done that. <laughs> One of them I literally designed myself, so like I literally am not giving shade to anyone in this, like in this at all, but I guess it's more just like how I feel making crochet clothing. I think at the end of the day that is what this is. <laughs> it's how I feel, how I feel like I have seen people with my body type represented in the crochet world. So with all that said, let's wrap up this video. I'm going to put this cat down and then <laughs> let's wrap up this video on a slightly like less random ranty note. I feel like editing this is going to be like a really interesting experience for me and I don't know how much of that I'm going to like cut out. Another editor's note just to tell you that obviously the way I feel about it is still like pretty emotional while editing. <laughs> But anyway, if you made it past that little like vent, I don't know, that was like a little mini therapy session for me, I feel like. So thank you for coming on that, on that journey with me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked seeing like all of the crochet clothing I've made and I guess how it looks, how it looks on this body. Like I just, I hope you enjoyed seeing that. And if you have any suggestions of other clothing patterns I can try, I would love to hear them because I do really want to make more despite <laughs> what that sounded like. I do really want to try and make more in the future. So I would love to hear any patterns that you might suggest. And other than that, thanks for coming along. Thanks for being here with me. Thanks for joining our little community for this video and giving us your time today. If you liked this video, please feel free to give it a like. If you know someone in your life who might enjoy it as well, please feel free to share it with them. And of course, if you're new to the channel or you've been enjoying some videos, please feel free to subscribe. We've got a lot of fun content for you, especially this month of December when we're doing Vlogmas. There is a lot to talk about, a lot to catch up on. So I would love to see you in our little crafty crochet community. And other than that, I will catch you in the next video. Bye!